My friend Harlow wants to learn about differentiated instruction. Why, you might ask? Well, it's because differentiation is an essential teaching method that looks into meeting all your students' needs. Differentiated instruction is a way to keep students engaged and make sure that your students are actually learning. I'm going to run through a few basic concepts of what differentiation is, and then I will get into ways to incorporate differentiation in a classroom. Differentiation is guided by following general principles, respectful tasks, flexible grouping, and continual assessment. Respectful task means making a quality curriculum which is not too difficult for students to grasp, but is also difficult enough to challenge and engage learners. A classroom should include a variety of whole group class discussions, small groups, partners, and independent work. Flexible grouping is concerned with how students are assigned into groups. Grouping should be created in a way that will help students learn best. However, they should not be pigeonholed and inflexible. Changing groupings is a good idea since it will allow students to work with a variety of peers and it will mix up interests, abilities, learning, preferences, skills, etc. Continual assessment is exactly how it sounds. A teacher should assess student readiness, interests, skill, knowledge, learning profiles, and mastery at every level of teaching. So how does one begin to differentiate? Begin by looking at student learning needs which include readiness, interest, and learning profiles. Student readiness looks at where a student is in his or her learning through a student's knowledge, skills, and interest. A great way to assess student readiness is to assess prior knowledge. Once again, plan lessons according to student readiness so a student can work in an area that is both attainable yet challenging. Student interest looks at what inspires and motivates students. Students are likely to be more engaged in their learning if they presented with material and activities that interest them. One of the best ways to meet students' interests is to provide a variety of options and choices. A student is not likely to choose an assignment that is going to bore them. Learning Profiles looks at how a learner learns best. If a teacher tries to incorporate a variety of multiple intelligences into a lesson, they will be able to reach more students. A basic way of meeting many learners' needs are providing visual, auditory, and kinesthetic ways of learning. Now that you know what differentiate is and why we implement it in a classroom, we will learn what it looks like. Here are the four classroom elements of differentiated instruction. Learning environment, content, process, and products. Learning environment is how the classroom setting feels and looks. A lot of the environment methods are based on good classroom management techniques. Here are some of the ways to differentiate the learning environment. Provide materials that reflect a variety of cultures and home settings. Set out clear guidelines for activities. Harlow likes to know what is expected of her before she attempts something. This way, she is not surprised when she does not meet unsaid expectations. Give students opportunities to move around if needed. Harlow is very active and sometimes can't sit still, just like her students. Provide time and spaces where students can work silently without distraction as well as time and spaces for collaborative work. Content involves what the student needs to learn and how they access the information. Some examples of how to differentiate at a context level are use books on tape. Even Harlow loves listening to a good book on tape. Have literature at different reading levels. Highlight important ideas and texts. Have supplemental resources for students to look to for extra help. Have group centers so students can help each other understand. Harlow always loves learning with a friend. Present ideas through auditory, visual, and kinesthetic ways. Write directions on the board, verbally recite directions, and act out directions. Process looks at how activities are used to learn content. Teachers should always make sure activities meet up with objectives. Here are some examples of differentiating process. Use a gradual release of learning model. Use interest centers for students to explore further topics that they are particularly interested in. Use hands-on activities and manipulatives. Harlow loves hands-on activities. Provide extra time to learn concepts if needed and move on when needed. Harlow gets bored when she has mastered a concept, but gets frustrated when she does not have enough time to learn another. Modified products is one of the easiest and most fun ways to differentiate. Products are the end result and they look at how a student represents their learning. Some examples of how you can differentiate products are give different options for assignments, write about what you learned, draw what you learned, record what you learned, give different project ideas, make a brochure, write a play, draw a diagram, give a presentation, write a letter, etc. Harlow loves this idea because she won't fall asleep reading the same essay over and over. Use rubrics that will allow students to meet expectations or challenge themselves. Have students self-evaluate their understanding level and own work. Another great thing about differentiation is that you are not alone. Collaborating with teams will help you problem solve. A good model to use is the RTI model, response to intervention, which requires collaboration from many people. 
The RTI model works with different tier levels. Tier 1 are more broad ways to differentiate in the classroom. Moving up the ladder to Tier 3, you use very specific ways to differentiate for a very specific student who needs that help. Harlow now understands that differentiation works best when a teacher teaches to their students' needs. Remember, differentiation can be helpful to many students. Harlow wished that many of these techniques were incorporated into her school when she was young. Differentiation is not always easy, but it is always beneficial.